We've got a big show for you today. I see today a special guest is coming to say goodbye. Is this the part? Is this the start of the long goodbye now? Uh, yeah. yeah. Is, is he going to oversleep again? Yeah, is this person going to make it today? This person will make it today. In yeah. fact, I got a Gilbert called me the other day. He wants to do a three part goodbye. Really? <laughs> three part? What's that about? I don't know. He wants. He, I got a message that Gilbert's been trying to call me, but uh, <clears throat> they said that Gilbert wants to come in a bunch of times. Whatever before, it is, I can't wait. End. I can't wait to hear it all. He can't wait to come in three times? I, they said he wanted to come in a few times. Wow. Before we leave. Right. You know... Oh, that's they, important. They you know what I think's going on, by the way? What? Gilbert, I think, uh, finally, after a gazillion years, made his own DVD. Oh. Oh, no, yeah. It. No, he taped it in May mm. at a club, and it's him telling all real dirty jokes. So finally, Gilbert... Aren't we lucky? So <laughs> Gilbert wants to push his CD before Christmas, is DVD. Yes. yes. Yes, this is a big Christmas push. <laughs> I had a, you mean we got to look at Gilbert, too, on a DVD? I had a gig at Caroline's this last May, and Gilbert showed up to it for no reason. I'm like, what the hell are you doing here? Like, And he goes, I, I want to know. I understand you put out a DVD. I want to talk to you about it. Not, I want to pick your brain. I'm like, pick my brain. Nothing to pick. I'm like, I, I taped something, and I gave it to him. <laughs> <laughs> Your brain. But see, Gilbert wants to go down the Artie Road. Gilbert doesn't want to sign with a label or give them money. He wants to just sell it himself. He wants all the money for himself. Right. Yeah. Well, you know, that is the way to do it. You shoot it, you own it, and then you can just, you know, sell it to somebody. Right. Is this like a Jackie DVD where Gilbert tells jokes? I haven't, I haven't seen it yet, but I'm going to assume that's what it would be. I mean, I've never had a bad time at a Gilbert stand-up show. Me either. Show, so, I mean, I'm sure it's funny. If he's great, he's funny, and if he bombs, he's funnier. Speaking of... Um, DVDs, Jackie. Yeah. It's a Jackie resurfaced on uh, satellite. He was on Raw Dog. Oh, right. You know. So. <laughs> Want to hear a little bit of Jackie? What, you, you, you pining away for that voice? Sure. <laughs> hey. I, too. I saw Jackie do stand-up live about four times in the 80s. I always had a good time. <laughs> <laughs> I was always drunk off I was going to say, when weren't you having a good time back then? Yeah, it's true. How would you know if you were having a good time? I was awake from 1986 to 92. <laughs> this is where Jackie describes to uh, the Raw Dog Channel and, of course, uh, our friend Jimmy Brewer. He describes that he's doing great. Okay. All right. I'm so great, nobody wants to hear that. Every place I go, I'm on the radio, you know, because I do a gig like every three months. And I go to the town, I'm on the radio, how you doing next? So you say, I lost my job, right, nobody right, right, loves right. me, my life sucks. You know, I'm skinny. I you got, look really I got good. divorced. I'm living on the beach, I'm rich, and I get laid. But yeah, my life <laughs> sucks. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I don't have to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning every night. People say, how could you quit that show? And I say, listen, you get up with me at 4.30 in the morning every day for uh. one week, and on Friday, I want you to call me an <laughs> for, for quitting morning radio, because by Wednesday, it'll be, can we stop? Jackie on a roll, he says he's doing great. It sounds like he left because he got sick of getting up. Sounds like he, he, as far as I know, he wanted to come back, but he wanted more money, and the company wasn't willing to pay him that much. It wasn't about sleep. No, I think he was ready to come right back. Because <laughs> <laughs> mm, this is very suspicious to me. <laughs> it's just, Jackie's trying awfully hard to talk about how happy he is. But, but well, yeah, it sounds like... Tom, what? Wasn't he blaming Tom at one point, so I guess Tom's off the hook for him. <laughs> Right. It's really about Jackie. But it sounds like his life really fell off the cliff. I lost my job. I lost my I lost wife. My job. I lost my and wife. then he goes, it's great. <laughs> I bet you live on the pussy. <laughs> I lost my job. I lost half my income. Yeah. What's all my income? But <laughs> the key word is lost. <laughs> lost. I love lost. You know that show lost? I lost. <laughs> I, I lost plenty. I'm the original so lost. Ha, 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 ha. should be about him. <laughs> lost. Use your finger. The Jackie Martling story. All right, let's see. Here's a quick dig on Howard. I don't remember this because I heard the whole thing, actually. I enjoyed it. but it... You can tell Howard took all the money. The bouncer on the show is like 150 years old. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's always about the money. And Ronnie. Yeah, and Ronnie. I thought it was about the hours. Wait, I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell he's got all the money. He's got it. He's got the money. See, if I had more money, then I could get up earlier. He doesn't deserve the money. I want money. That's why he's, 
Come on. Howard took well. all the money. He went to tell he took all the money. I stole it from someone. Yeah, there was uh, money on a table, and you ran in, uh, and you took it all before anybody uh, else could get it. Uh, uh, he's holding it hostage. I'm only kidding. <laughs> you know, I'm doing is, great. This is why I'm better off without him. I'm skinny. Can, I, can yeah. I tell you a great analogy? Yeah. That, uh, I, you know what? i got to tell you this. I heard him say this once. Jackie was the king of analogies. He once said to me that you and Mel... That if there's a hundred marbles available and there's 98 marbles and you have the 98 marbles, you don't want anyone to have the other two. You guys want the hundred marbles. I want my marbles. Wow. <laughs> well, guess what? Now he has no marbles. <laughs> I got marbles. He in my has head. no access to the marbles. <laughs> I have marbles in my head. I got marbles in my head when I shake my head to get him. I couldn't take his jealousy. It was just. It, well, it, I it feel like it on my back. Darts. Yeah, yeah. right behind you. Every day. Another day of getting up early and no marble. <laughs> well, you know, unfortunately, the latest ratings came out. We're number one still, so, uh, you know, I, I mean. Well, he really did destroy us. Howard, you want all the marbles? I'm leaving. Can I have a jet? No, you're not going to be number one anymore. <gasps> I hate to break up the Beatles, but I'm Pete Best. <laughs> he almost had me convinced, too. Oh, I was like, I was sitting and waiting for the ratings to drop, and, I, and they never did. But he, had, he almost kind of had me like, 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 you know, like a prisoner of war if you tell somebody something enough? You'll see. I thought you, you, you must have had Stockholm syndrome at I that did. point. I was, I was, I was like, maybe the guy's right. Because I, I used to tell you, get rid of him. I think sometimes. <laughs> oh, you were so right. I think sometimes, the, like the vacuum you guys live in here, you don't realize how big the show is. Sometimes, at, when Jackie left, I was doing the Norm show in L.A., and we all pulled up to work that morning. And me, Norm, four of the writers, we were like, did Jackie leave Stern? Like, like we, it was a big, a big deal. And, you know, we were wondering how different the show was going to be. And, you know. You don't understand. I had to go punch up scripts in Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> we were holding him back, remember? <laughs> this was always a problem. Yeah, my, my favorite Jackie moment with Robin, though, was. Who, no, he used to say to me, who knows? What I could have been doing if I, you know, yeah, this is a great job. Don't get me wrong. I love it. Then, he, then you know, I always have to say that. Then he'd go, what? but you know, if I didn't have this, I could be punching up scripts. I could be writing scripts. I could be a big, big star. So I said, you know, Jackie, this is only four hours a day, really. Maybe the rest of the day. Why don't you just go do that anyway? Yeah. Begin, I mean, if begin there's the, a need for punching up scripts. You could certainly punch up a script the rest of the day. No. I'm too busy worrying about your marbles. Yeah, I've got my eye on your marbles. Howard, he was, uh, by the way, he was referring to the bodyguard at the news station, the 150-year-old guy. When you get up to the elevator. Oh, oh. That's, oh so he oh, said why? you took the money from the... I see as far that as Howard, I know, the, the bodyguard is a, a, a very strong black man. Yeah, for, and I saw an old one, too. I guess they rotate him, but... Um, you saw an old oh, black man? So you took all the serious money. Yeah. So they oh, only yeah. Get that one guy. Oh, so I see. Oh, you, oh, you ran and took oh, all that money, too. Oh, 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 wow. Oh, 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 I made it, too. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll take an old black man before a young white guy as security. There you go. Me, too. <laughs> He's making more than Jackie now. <laughs> Any day. Hey, Tom. Yes. I will tell you, in all the conversations we, we had, <laughs> I don't ever remember... Uh, hours being a consideration. He never complained to you about sleep. It, it, was, it, was it was always exactly as you said. It was always about the money, and it was about the opportunity to do scripts, to do Mar other things. How many marbles do you have? Listen, <laughs> I've seen your marble collection. I want more. You know, I always I got. I want an Aggie. Can I have a cat's eye? <laughs> Mel has marbles. Howard has marbles. I have no marbles. <laughs> I, I have no care about that because I lost my marbles years ago. <laughs> <laughs> so did he. Um, um, I'm working um, in Saratoga this weekend because uh, nice. I thought I'd do that. For, do you, do you know? So this is Jackie explaining his gigs. All right. He's working in Saratoga. He thought he would do that. Why does he got to explain why he would do that? Well, you know that I know, but Vinnie Marks is a bad magician who's got, who does the shows in uh, Saratoga. I said, oh, I'll go up there for a weekend because Larry's friend and my friend Burf, the teleprompter guy, he's got a house up there. So I'll go to Saratoga. It's a great time. And I go to Boca in Florida once every three months or it's every six months because Linda that used, so my grandmother. used to own Jimmy's Comedy Alley, books it. You know wow. how this goes. You know, so your old friends, hey, you know, they call you up and they come on, do the gig. They yeah. Say, All right. And you go down there and you know everybody from New York. And Liz it's always a big party. So he only works for friends, is what he yeah, says. Yeah, yeah. Look, when they, they pack him, him out. when they yeah. pack him, he's going they to do it. Out. But look, he doesn't need to do it. He's got the gig. He's not going to Saratoga for the gig. He's right. going to stay at Burr's house. Burr's but while he's there, why not make a couple of bucks? Right. There you go. That's a good philosophy. 
And, and, and what, does the audience know Burf and the teleprompter guy? Well, you know how Jackie always had to put your name in a you joke know. in his joke book, yeah. whether anybody could get that or not. <laughs> so while he's mooching off Burf down in Florida, you can go, hey, Burf, I met you down Raw Dog. Uh, right. Uh, uh, there are four listeners. Because what he's not saying is he's cutting out the hotel bill <laughs> by yeah. staying with friends <laughs> while he makes money. Does he have money, though? I mean, I always yeah. hear that. Oh, let me tell you something. Well, then, hey, he, made the he made a lot of money here. There must have been a few bucks left on the table. No, no, no. I, he, I, I went to lunch with him. I mean, he didn't tell me how much money he had, but I know that when he was doing those gigs, he was charged a top dollar. You know, he didn't have kids, and he had a house and everything. Well, he was just buying stock, tons of stock. And mm -hmm. I would see him circling it every day. You know, he had, like, blue chip yeah, stock. Like, he'd be sitting here... During like you'd see him in the newspaper, you think he's there. He's doing. He's, he's doing research. Circling. Buy, sell, buy, sell. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, as a, as a and he had that bifocals on, and he's like, he's circling that stock. Dude, got, at the end, dude, of, I can tell you, as a stand-up comedian, I can tell you firsthand what I'm able to make on the road right now, and I'd be embarrassed to say it. It's it's that good. Can I can I ask you this much without asking you about the money? I, I mean, is it's it, that good. Is buy it more? Stock. Is it more than double what you made before you got on the show? Oh, as a, as a stand up? Yeah. It's, it, I made a fraction. Right. Uh, literally a fraction of what. Because I used to middle. I never headlined. I was a middle guy. Like, while I was doing the, the Norm show, every once in a while my agent would come with a gig. You want to go down to San Diego and middle for a guy, open for someone at a college, stuff like that. But, I mean, uh, Garrett's not even in the same neighborhood. Right, you right. can't even bring it up. Oh, trust me. When I met Jackie, he was making $50 for a bachelor party. He'd go to a guy's house, there'd be 10 guys sitting there with a stripper. Okay. Right. The Filipino chicken and nobody was listening to him. Yeah. And maybe, <laughs> maybe 50 bucks. And and when I got here, my agent said, look, man, you got to pick up the mic because that's the way to make the cash there uh, on top of your regular salary. Your regular salary, there's a base salary. So I had about 35 tight minutes, and I went to clubs uh, uh, before I started here full time when I knew I got the job. And I got about another 10 to 20. I got a headline in 50 minutes. And, right. and it's just, it's like printing money. <laughs> you yeah. know? I mean, as long as you're willing to travel. Right. But, I mean, every market you're in, I could sell out. It's just insane. Yeah, but where's your marbles? <laughs> You know what I mean? Uh, that, that's how you get. That's how you get the marbles. Hey Artie! Hey Artie! You're a stupid businessman. I left. I knew what I was doing. And Jackie, Jackie was a Mercedes. Buy a Volvo and get some marbles. Artie, I used to sit down with Jackie. I said, Jackie, look at me. You're gonna have another five years right. of your incredible income. Right. It, there's no. there's no job in radio that's gonna pay you this much. Mm. Doesn't exist. There's, Absolutely. There's no, not, no. there's no job in radio that's going to pay you this. You're going to bank away five more years. You're an older guy. You're going to have a nice little nest egg. Oh, I'm not afraid. I go, I know. But just look at what's on the table and think it through. And if not, if it doesn't make sense, then you got to leave. Oh, I'm leaving. Right. Well, <laughs> oh, but, but you know what? Well, now, look, okay. the road does the road does suck, especially, oh, but he especially if you're an alcoholic. The road. But, he but, didn't mind the but road. But Jackie seemed to have fun. And he Jackie loved the was, road. Jackie was the kind of guy. He was he's great at stand up. <laughs> Jackie could do an hour of stand up in his sleep. It was like nothing. It wasn't even like work to him anymore. You know, like that's uh, how he was very uncomfortable being successful. That's how good he was on stage. You know what's interesting though, Howard? That I always found interesting with Jackie. Like there have been periods of time here where I felt personally that I was underpaid, but I never thought about what you made or what Robin made, I'm sort of like, my money is my money to get. But what right. am I worth? And, and, and any time right. it was like sort of hinted at that you had made more money, it would make him insane. Right. Insane. Yeah. Oh! I know. But, and no, I got you know like he, he really wanted to be your partner. Right. Oh, oh, oh you don't know how true that is. Oh, the more calls, than a partner. The calls were like, when you go into a new market, right. I have to benefit. And I go, why? I'm like the five families. Yeah, I go, well, why would you benefit? He goes, right. well, I go, I go, what do you mean? You mean when Johnny Carson added a new market or they, they, they yeah. Yeah, Ed was in. He wanted me to open up my books. <laughs> I mean, I mean you should, you should, he was just like, you know, and I went, this open is, up your books. Yeah, like, 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 <laughs> I okay. I used to try to explain to him, I said, Jackie, you jumped onto a rolling train. Yeah. You didn't start the train. You didn't create the train. You never thought about a train. My train went off the track. <laughs> <laughs> he was great on the show. We all love him. All my friends, all my friends love him. Nobody's saying no about that. Well, right. Audie, you don't have to make everything all good. No, but really? I'm just saying that that uh, touch is funny to, to hear. To say this. open up the books, that's the most obnoxious. Oh, it was, it was ridiculous. <laughs> I go, what, what, what am I? What am I? IBM. <laughs> what are you passing notes? I started that. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you owe me. Give me five bucks. Everything's about oh, money. The with flying me. gag, yeah. right? <laughs> Somebody passed the note. He goes, I saw, you owe me five bucks. The flying gag. And he gag. ain't kidding. No. <laughs> Bubba, give me five bucks. <laughs> Howard's reading the copy from the Coca-Cola ad, and he goes, hey, Coca-Cola wants to make sure that you have lots of Coca-Cola and snacks on hand for the game. And I heard snacks, and I wrote snacks, snacks, question mark, snacks, question mark. And he did it so fast, and Howard responds so fast. He said, and we did a five-minute right. bit on snatch in 1983, and wow. people went, and that was like the first note I ever passed. That, <laughs> that was a like revolution wow. right there. Wow. That was, wow. and it went, I don't even remember that. I'm putting that note in the Smithsonian. <laughs> <laughs> the snack, snatch, no. Well, think about it. Why would you remember that? <laughs> I don't know. And we did five minutes. And that was a great anal joke for Window Factory. And the audience went crazy. <laughs> I go, how does he know that? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what made him crazy? Oh, how do you know what the audience did? Uh, it's the you know, you think you were not number one. Snatch! When you st he started working with you. See, that's the thing with Jackie. He's acting as if he made you something. He did! He, 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 he made you sick! He's not. <laughs> snatch! You don't remember it! I was the one who wrote Snatch! And I remember the time I, there was, there was a talk, they were talking about a horse, and I made a joke about a whore! <laughs> right, that whore! I mean, horse. I mean, oh, I don't know what to say. Ha, ha, ha. Snapple. Yeah. Get it? Whore. Back that horse. in 85. I, I think that oh, was... I dropped the SC off horse. And then, and then we pushed the envelope. 1987. <laughs> Vagina. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's like a war a hero. Dude, I don't know if you I don't know if you were aware, but you know, Jackie would write notes on the show, right? Then he would right. take them home every day and he would hole punch them and he would put them in a loose leaf notebook. Yes. And then he had them uh, <laughs> in his mom's attic <laughs> yeah. by month and year. Right. And he saved every single note he wrote. If you went up to that attic, it was like the history of Jackie. <laughs> oh. It was like it was all handwritten, but they're all, and he could go back. I'm telling you, he could probably find the note he's talking about. Oh right. yeah, and that's why he's got the date. I got a lot of time on my hands because you know what? I can find that note. You know what? One of his other great raps was Howard. He wrote the um, you know the joke about that girl so ugly I had to put a uh, a bag on her head and my head. Whatever right. the two, the two bag bagger. Yeah. yeah he uh, he wrote that for Rodney, but never got the credit. Never. For it. Let me tell you something. <laughs> and I gave it to Howard, and I didn't get any more. But you know what? I don't know who wrote the rest of Rodney's jokes. It doesn't matter. That joke is the one that matters. Oh, it was so joke. smooth. And right then, a light bulb went off in my head. How quick Howard and me, sh we shared a brain. Oh. <laughs> oh. I can see you getting all worked up. You know what? I get that line from a lot of people. They say, share my brain. Yeah, a lot of people who, you know, aren't doing this for a living. <laughs> <laughs> I gave up half my brain that day. Why the hell would you say that? Uh, anyway, but in all, in all seriousness, I actually dropped Jackie notes that I enjoyed his appearance, and uh, we're, we're talking about getting together for dinner. Wonderful. Yeah. Who's paying? <laughs> I'm paying. Don't worry. <laughs> you well, still can't afford it. Why yeah, don't look, you, look. why would you have to get rid of, I mean, get together with somebody whose brain you share? Why don't you just communicate with him now? Maybe I miss, maybe I miss him being rumbling around in there. <laughs> Jackie, are you in my brain? Yes, I am. <laughs> 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 See, look at how interesting that appearance was. You got to get him in here somehow. But to talk to him. That's that, why that he, so great. He no. figures he should no. have been half of the no. show. You two shared a brain. No. no, I'll go to birth for free, but I want tons and tons and tons and tons of marbles. <laughs> well, he deserves half the marbles because they share a brain. <laughs> I don't want more marbles retroactive. If you share your brain, you should share your marbles. Did <laughs> your mother teach you about sharing? I share a roach with my friends. Yeah, no, he, he had it in for me, boy. I tell you, I, you have no idea. I wish I, I shared was, your. I wish I shared your brain. Maybe really? I wouldn't have to anesthetize myself with liquor. Can I tell you? No, I, you'd actually be doing lots of Ambien right now. You're sharing my <laughs> oh, brain. Really? Yeah, I got to get off that stuff. Are every, you taking it every night now? Well, uh, I'm pretty stressed out about some stuff that's been going on. Dude, don't and, get uh, don't get on. Yeah, I, I can't sleep. My head is spinning from it, so I I take 
pay, you know, this this sleeping pill. They go You're to bed. You're about right. to get on that whole uh, track of now you have to take something to wake up, something to go to sleep. One pill <laughs> makes you smaller, <laughs> and one pill makes you large. Don't. And the one that mother gives you, they don't oh. do anything at all. Go ask Alice. <laughs> when you ten feet <laughs> And don't go chasing rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> that was okay. my favorite line in Appetit. Yeah, you don't really. Go chasing rabbits. Because <laughs> <laughs> it comes out of nowhere. Like, <laughs> I hated Jefferson Airplane. Oh, that was a great <laughs> song. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Those are the only two songs that that and somebody to love. After that, everything else was crap. Yeah. Don't you want some, but shut up. <laughs> I, I volunteer. Talk this. about a band. We were talking a little bit uh, during commercial about Chicago, about that kind of... Uh, they, they could kind of gay it up and stuff. Right. But that band, what that band became in the 80s... Do you remember we built this city on oh, rock yeah. and roll? No, that's Jefferson, uh, no, Jefferson Starship, right? Yeah, yeah. no, what, what it yeah. eventually became was just the fruitiest... <laughs> we built... This city. Oh. And, and Grace Slick had to share the mic with that other idiot. Yeah. And he sounded just like her. Yeah. That was nauseating. That's the, uh, that's the good Jefferson Airplane. Do, do, do. Somebody just sent me uh, a traffic DVD. Oh, the Harvey Leeds gave me to give that to you. I got to tell you something. I, I was a big John Barley Corn Must Die guy, but. And even Low Spark to High Heeled Boys, but I can't listen to that stuff now. It just is it just doesn't play well. What? Do 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 It's them in concert hour to do yeah. today, yeah. It's like a it's a jam. <laughs> I don't like jams, by the way. Yeah, me neither. Get to well, the Well that was what was happening then, jamming. Oh this is just insufferably bad. When I was uh like nineteen eighty I uh, sold a bunch of jokes to Rodney, and there we go. I never did, and I borrowed a thousand dollars from him, and then I hadn't paid him back yet, and I asked him to loan me two thousand dollars more. I, I, the details of why I need. I was reprinting an album. It's a long story. Yeah, there's some very important work going on. Reprinting printing an album <laughs> for Rodney. <laughs> hey, can you give me more money? <laughs> didn't have any money. Yeah, I, mean, he had... I, I thought he was going to say I didn't have any food. Wait, did you get the... Re... He didn't have. I didn't have any money, but and he, he had, had tons the money. Of money. Yeah, tons he of had the money. Gonna miss it? Yeah, we got to hear that part again. <laughs> that, Ron, why not back? <laughs> it seems like everybody's money is Jackie's money. Yeah. He had a pile over there. It's communism. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, just give it to me. I shared a cerebral cortex. And how do you go ask? I owe a guy a thousand dollars, so the way I'll get it back is to borrow two thousand more. <laughs> here's, like, here's a new concept. <laughs> let, let me borrow two thousand. I'll pay you back the thousand, and I got a thousand for myself. <laughs> Jimmy, I create a financing if I've ever heard it. It's Jackie Man. <laughs> well, if I keep borrowing and never put out an album, I'll be rich. When I was uh, like nine. 1980, I uh, sold a bunch of jokes to Rodney, and I never knew that. And I borrowed a thousand dollars from him, and then I hadn't paid him back yet, and I asked him to loan me two thousand dollars more. I, I, it's the details of why I need. I was reprinting an album. It's a long story. I didn't have any money. Yeah, and he had plenty of money, and he said no. And you, I asked you for twenty dollars. You could say no, but by the end of the. <laughs> You can say no, but I'll hate you. I want you to say yes. <laughs> you're not following the script. You've got a lot of money, and I don't. In those jokes I gave you, I wrote some hypnotic jokes. You mean, make you give me money. You mean you're not touched by Jackie's desperation because he has to reprint an album? I think this is fantastic. And that album was? I told it was good. This Ooh, is fantastic. I smelt it. Rodney said no. <laughs> the show Howard had me owing him three thousand dollars, which wasn't true. Listen, two thousand plus one thousand, three thousand. But Rodney didn't give it to him. Right. He said. Oh, but he still owed him a thousand. But Rodney still didn't get back the thousand. Right. Oh yeah, if Rodney just wanted his thousand dollars. But at that point, you know, he'd already done back to school. What would Rodney do with a thousand? What does he need my money? Yeah. I owed him a thousand, and I actually paid him off. I paid and half jokes. of it off in yeah. jokes, which is <laughs> absolutely the truth. And I've been getting my... Oh, that's know, great. We bought Manhattan for, with corn. But wait How many it? jokes do you think <laughs> he gave him to pay off he tells, half that? He, does the he had ten, and Roddy didn't exactly have a... An accounting department, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I was on the show, and Rodney's sitting there, and I, I wasn't going to say, and I'm not even going to say it now, but the guy was a little high, all right? right. So I sat there and wrote Rodney a thousand dollar check and walked over to him and told him, I don't want this thing. And the guy from TV Guide said he still has it over his desk because it, you know, it's Rodney Dangerfield from Jack and the Joke Man. Right.
He still has Jackie's check over his desk. Do you moved, believe that? He moved the Jim Carrey memorabilia out of the way. Yeah. You know what, Rodney? I understand you keep my check on your desk. That must be some. That must be some messy desk. You now, I'm wait a minute. Mind. I gotta go back to the Jackie math. <laughs> so he wrote. Ten jokes. Rodney, ten, ten jokes. jokes. And Fifty dollars in jokes. Fifty dollars. Now, does that mean Rodney used those jokes? Yeah. <laughs> or it does that now. mean he just wrote him? No. Ten jokes. I never even sent him the jokes. <laughs> I just wrote them for him and deducted it from his bill. Dude, uh, and, and you know what? If you want to do what he wants, if you want to talk about what Jackie was doing before the show, he showed me checks that he got from Joan Rivers for fifteen bucks a joke. Right. Now they're fifty bucks a joke. Well, this well, Rodney. Well, with Rodney's bucks. Rodney, Rodney had more than Joan. Rodney at the time. paid retail. <laughs> Because he's a dumb Jew. Oh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. fifty bucks a joke. He was high. He didn't know what he was getting. I paid him half back in jokes. <laughs> no, check. If you have a cash, I'm screwed because I haven't got a nickel. <laughs> I thought he was rich before. Now he doesn't have a nickel. So if Ronnie goes and cashes the check, he's he's broke. Right. Scare up a gate. <laughs> oh, whatever. All right. Hey, anyway. Wow. There's a walk down memory lane. We gotta get him in here. You're right. No, yeah, 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 yeah. you start to Absolutely. miss him, right? He's, yeah, he's gotta <laughs> kind of say goodbye. I mean, you know what? I was ready to do dinner. Now I'm not so sure. <laughs> All right, we gotta, gotta be one of the goodbye guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we gotta take a break. Well, we'll be you back. say goodbye to him, Marty. Maybe he's a special guest coming in today. <laughs> I'll yeah. say hello to him. All right, we'll be back right after these words. <laughs> so I'm on the phone with uh, Tim, and. I don't know, you know, how many people. Of course, nobody. There's only about five people who know what I'm doing over at the channels. Mm -hmm. But I assembled a 17-person news team um, as just one aspect of our new channel mm -hmm. called the Howard 100 News. They only cover Howard. 17 it's people. It's Howard News. That's of course. <laughs> what are you kidding? <laughs> It's 24 hours a day, you know, Howard News. <laughs> and it's, it's a staff of 17. A staff of 17 that's, people. It's a pretty good crew. And by the way, and bringing in more, because, you know, right now we actually do, we do the six, well, anyway, I'm jumping ahead of myself. So, we, and we have pretty much all ex-WINS and WCBS news people, and it's, it's, a, it's an inspiring project, <laughs> and really, uh, for fans, I think is going to be oh, some of the greatest thing terrible. ever. This is, might become a nightmare. You'll probably see the Howard 100 news vans all over town, whatever <laughs> town you're in, because we, we collect news. But everything's about Howard. But I'm like, just saying, they go to you may create a, a nightmare for yourself, because now you're reporting on yourself. Well, it is a nightmare already. <laughs> what happened was, I sat down with the news department, the news director, and I turned to him and I said, look... I'm making you the news director. I just met you, but you're the news director. He goes, wow, I got a promotion. I go, that's right. <laughs> I say, here's the deal. You cover me. You cover everything about this show. You cover everything about this channel. If you hear I'm doing something you don't like, do a story on it. I don't care. You have full autonomy. The way CBS gives the news department autonomy, right? full autonomy. So even if it's something Negative. you're doing that they don't like, that's and, right, and they can like skewer you, Yes. Or right. something you wouldn't want somebody to know, but they find it out. Now, are they going to report on that? Oh, yes. Oh, my God. That's so, what I'm saying. It's going to be a nightmare. I oh, sent God. them off, and, I, and, they, and, I, <laughs> and they've been, you know, we've been doing test runs and everything. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, this has been going on for a couple of months, doing the test runs and all this. So I'm listening to the tape of the previous night's test run. This was, uh, yesterday was Wednesday, so I'm listening to Tuesdays. Every night at 6 o'clock. They do this news in a studio. Like a wrap-up of today's Howard News. Well, every night at 6 o'clock for the test, they have to be ready with a live newscast. And these people are spectacular. I mean, there's every, you know you know who's on the uh, Howard 100 News team? Like, Shuley's on there. <laughs> oh, you're like, kidding. No, okay. he actually works there. Wow. Um, uh, there's a bunch of people who you'll meet. It's, it, it, in the news department, you don't even try to chum up to them. Really? Because they'll turn on you. 
Oh yeah. Oh, you'll, they'll read right through you. Oh, I've been burned. Oh, have I been burned by the media? <laughs> by the way, did you know your mother was on the news? It, well, no. I I, w I was told she was going to be interviewed about my arrest, and I yeah, said she went through Artie's entire rap sheet. And yeah. I said uh, that sounds funny, and I'm sure she's got her own perspective on those days. And sure, oh, interview. Boy. She agreed to do it. They were tracking the arrival of Wendy the retard. Right. Because Wendy actually goes on in she's a half like hour. She's like a hurricane. Yeah. They, <laughs> because she drove, and her and her mom were there were updates and stuff. So. So, anyway, I'm going to make a, a, a move the story along. I've been working on this concept along with some fabulous people uh, uh, who deserve all the credit in the world. You know, uh, Walt Sabo, Jeremy Coleman, Tim's in on this now. The entire news team whose names we will become very familiar okay. with. Okay. Uh, this People guy, I'll try to avoid. <laughs> this guy George, this woman Liz, this uh, uh, Bubba. Is there you a know. guy named Brent? Brent, Brent, or, well, yeah. Brent, you know, Brent is Bubba's oh, guy. Oh, Brent, that's the guy, because that's um, the guy who talked to my mother. Oh, my mother okay. said he was uh, really cool. There's a guy named Mike Piazza, who's not the baseball player. Oh, really? but, yeah, you know, but, I've heard that name before yeah, in well, news. Yeah, well, you'll come to regret knowing that. Yes, right. <laughs> I'm going to hate him. Because I think he's uh, signed to you. Oh, no. no but, and, 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 and obviously, they can't interview us now, but eventually, that will be Right. They'll have mix. to sit down with these people. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> and, like, for example, on the news, they got a hold of the Joey Boots audition tape. Mm -hmm. They play Joey Boots audition tape, and, and then they bring it around to program directors. And, you know, <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, they've got it's. It's staggering. And then, last night, I'm listening to the news, and they had an exclusive interview. Bubba got an exclusive interview with Jackie the Joke Man Martin. Oh, oh wow. wow. Well, I'm, an exclusive. I'm sitting in my car listening to this thing, screaming at the radio, because I'm... Rebut I'm doing a rebuttal. You're, with you're yelling at the, you're arguing with Jackie's opinion? I'm, I'm, I'm yelling at the Howard 100 News because I don't believe Jackie... What he's saying is accurate. See, right now, my mouth is watering to hear Right, that. I'm dying I mean, like, to know yeah, what I'm that just, sounded like. I wanna, I wanna so, the way you were dying, I'm playing it. Ronnie, the limo driver, is hearing it. He's yelling. <laughs> Mike, the whole car's yelling. Mike, the limo driver, joins us. Because he switches off on the day when I go to Long Island. Right. And uh, he's in there going, well, what, what is this? What's going on? He just gets in and he hears the news. And he goes, what, what news is this? I go, it's Howard one hundred. I, I go, it's Howard one hundred news. He goes, Howard one hundred news. I got to hear what's going on here. I said, the Howard one hundred news team. What, what, what? So I'm listening to this tape, and I go, Jesus Christ, people should be hearing this, but it's not ready yet. Oh, uh, you know, what did Jackie say? That just tell me a little. Well, just bit. He, 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 what, what didn't he say? I mean, it was it, it's like his version of how things went down. He go, oh, he's again. He was willing to. He wanted to uh, take. The, he didn't want. M m no. He first he says he's not motivated by money. Okay. But then he admits to himself. This is to himself <laughs> that money is uh, was a factor because he was very tired and in order to get up that time in the morning he needed more money okay. to justify it. Uh -huh. Okay, all right, I can accept that. Uh -huh. There's nothing shameful in admitting you want more money in this country. Nothing. Well, nothing. now you're talking right. to the wrong person. You should be talking to Jackie. Right, well, wait a second. So then he goes, he claims he left but was very insulted because he called back two months later and realized he wanted to take the offer. Right. Which makes no sense because it was the same offer and, uh oh, you got it? You got you got the tape of I, I'm going to have to play it. What is it? You know what? It, it, it's the funny the funny line is when Jackie called back two months later to take the offer. It was because he felt bad about breaking up the group. Uh. No, no, I was getting to that. Then he says he he took the offer because he feels bad about breaking up the Beatles. Which right, is us. that was always his thing. He didn't want to break up the Beatles. But meanwhile. So so now he was doing us a favor. He was bringing us back together. Uh -huh. He was doing it out of the goodness of his heart. Right. You know what I mean? And you, you start listening to this. And, I mean, you know, it's Jackie being Jackie. And Bubba just shuts up and, let, you know. Let him so, roll. So I'm, lay, I'm in my car listening to this thing. And I called Tim Sabian to, to uh, comment on some of the stories and some of the things I thought that maybe we could do in the future. Uh, because it's certainly a work in progress. Yeah. And Tim says, look. I'm like, yeah, I want to go on the air live tonight. I go, what are you talking about? He What's was you... ready. He's ready. <laughs> I go, what do you mean go live? Because let's put it on the air. I've got to issue a press release. Blah, blah. I go, no press release, please. He's getting pressure. I said, do you want to put it on live? Go ahead. Just put it on and see what happens. Don't tell anyone. You know, put a notice up on the website other than that. You know? Right. Thing comes on. 
live. I, I, so this was 20. So after I got off the phone with him, it was 20 to 6. <clears throat> so they went live. Wow. Uh, at 6 o'clock last night on Channel 100. All of a sudden, it just came on. I figured there's no one listening to uh-huh. it. So Zapin, who was over at Satellite, says to me, you got to read what they're saying on the Stern Fan Network. I go, what is this? What is that? What do you mean, Star Fan Network? You go, it's a website where they discuss the show. It's a major thing yeah. amongst like fans. Yeah, but I don't even know how to get to it. I, is it, is it uh, what is it? Because he goes, uh, you should see what they're discussing. So I, I think said, it's SFN.com yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't know how to get to it. I said, right. I would like to read these comments. Yeah, he, so he starts typing me the comments. One guy, he leaves Channel 100 on in his office, even though there's nothing on it, because it's just kind of cool, he thinks. Yeah. He likes just seeing it up there. His boss comes out screaming at him that the that Jackie Martling's <laughs> obscenities are, are blasting through this the, the office and that it's offending people. And Already we're in trouble because it just came. He goes, "You don't understand. It just came on." He goes, "I don't." <laughs> in some office. Yeah. Oh, so anyway, the fans were freaking out. I was like, I was getting off on it. I was kind of like, I was really upset that I put it on right now because. But I got to admit, it was a rush uh-huh. <laughs> because I've been certainly waiting for. You know, this is just one small aspect of the channel, but I, I certainly want the people to hear it, uh, and I thought it was kind of a fun thing. So people are writing, "God damn it!" I was waiting until December for Christmas to get it, and blah blah blah, and and now I got to go run out and get it. People, people were oh, really that's digging funny. it, funny, and people were listening and having a good time, and. Uh, it was. Oh, you got it. Wait. So, all right. It's funny. It's like having a radio in your corner with Tourette's. It's quiet, and then all of a sudden it blurts out. It just out. blurts out. <laughs> right. <laughs> so all of a sudden, so so people were hearing it. But like I said to Fred, did you hear it? He goes, I have no idea it was on. If it was on, I certainly would have been. Hey, if you have, you've never even heard any of it, have you, Artie? And Fred, you've never heard any. Of it. What the, the, any Jack, of what? the Jackie stuff? No, the, the entire news. Oh, no, no, I haven't heard. Very briefly yesterday during a commercial. Right. It, yeah. there's, there's filthy language in it, which airs, you know, that's what other people comment. They go, oh, my God, it, it's dirty. Because the news, <laughs> when people say something dirty in the news, it's dirty. Right. It should be. No, so, what? It's interesting hearing an anchor say something dirty. Right. Because it's part of the news. <laughs> yeah, a lot of these guys never got to say anything dirty. Where's it? Okay, all right. So, anyway, in the interest of, uh, so did you just, is this just Jackie or is it the news? I took the. It's the lead story in the news All featuring right. Jackie. All right. So anyway, here's your here's here's what you might have heard, and uh, this is Jack. I play this because it's Jackie. Right. All right. Jackie is news. Right. And, 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 us. and from now on, Monday through Friday, the news. It's going to be live. It'll be live at six o'clock at okay. night. It'll be an hour newscast for now. All right. I'll have All to right. tune for in. now. It'll grow. I was exhausted. Right. Just, oh, you don't have the lead in. I think that might be it. You know, okay. So okay. I, I don't know though. I told Scott to grab it right from the beginning. Okay. All right. Good. I, I didn't realize. I was exhausted. Right. Fifteen years of getting up. At the, the, I cannot go to bed early. Right. Everybody else is very disciplined. I'm not. Right. And after fifteen years, I realized there was no way I was going to get together to get any sleep. But I didn't want to quit because I loved my job. The only thing I didn't like was the hours. I loved the people. I liked being on the show, the infamy, the money. Everything right. about it was fantastic. But I was a millionaire walking around by Wednesday. I was angry, you yes. know, because I was so tired. And uh, so I said how much money I wanted. And they... What did he do? I want this. I know. I told him. What did he do? He didn't do it right. He, he, didn't did, he did it right in. yesterday. He did it right yesterday. Right. Where did he do it yesterday? With the angry black one. Yeah. Scott. Uh, all right. Wait, how do you? How do you? There's no lead into the story. <laughs> That's all right. I'm just tired. I'm, I'm cranky. Well, you're a millionaire walking around by Wednesday. You're tired and angry. <laughs> Boy, I, I want to play this for you. I tell you, I'm already fascinated. I can keep listening to it like wait, that. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Even without the intro, <laughs> no, yeah, because you should hear it the way it ran. I would love to hear it the way it ran, but Jackie, right. he's always good for a sound bite. Yeah. <laughs> My blood is already boiling. Listen to this. Your blood is boiling, right? Blood is boiling. Oh, I was going berserk. In this crap. All right, but maybe I'll take a break. After 15 years, he finally figures it's really tough to get up. Yeah, let that's me take a break. That's the lamest that's, excuse that's I've ever heard. I did it for 15 years. No, I couldn't pull no, myself together to do it anymore. Well, I was yelling in my car at the Highwood 100 News. <laughs> so when Tim said, let's go live with this thing. So now after he goes live, I'm reading what the fans are saying. And I start, of course, you know, writing memo after memo about, you know, everyone's writing memos to each other to right. make the thing better and this and that. 
And then uh, I, I couldn't fall asleep. I get in bed, I go, I watch Smallville. I realize Smallville's on Thursday night. Right, you're not even on the wrong but night. I'm on the wrong it's night. It's a lost night. Beth is exhausted. She goes right to sleep. I want to have sex. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm walking around eating shredded wheat. It's yeah, now it's no. now like 10 o'clock at night. Oh. I'm, I'm writing memos. Ross Zapin wrote me a memo saying, go to bed. <laughs> Yeah. I'm I'm like, well, no, I'm working. I mean, what do you want from me? The Astros are playing the Cardinals. And uh, who all that. cares? <laughs> I go, I go, Gary. Uh, Gary, by the way, take Ross off that. Uh, how dare he say go to bed? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm working. I'm working 24-7. You don't want him now knowing what you're doing. No. He's out of the group. That that memo just pissed me off. Go to bed. <laughs> so anyway, I'm like all charged up because something's on the channel. And I'm going berserk. You know, I'm going nuts. Sure. I'm going but you're nuts, right. Daddy. You can't we be still doing that at 10 o'clock and expect to fall off to sleep. Right. I was all charged up. So how can I not, how can I go to sleep? So, you know, I'm at a full channel. It's going to kill me I because know. I have to listen to what's going on. Because two. Two. That's right. I forgot. <laughs> so I, You're never getting any sleep. No, this is insane. But i got to figure it's going to calm down when we get over there. Yeah, once you get it established well, right. a year from now. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, one of the big issues is that we're two separate entities in two different places, so it's hard to work together. Right. right. So, I, so all of a sudden, I just felt like, man, I got to go take Ambien again, and I hate that. But I said, if I don't take it, I'm not going to sleep all mm -hmm. night. Hey, it was 11 o'clock at night, and I said, I got to take an Ambien. What strength do you take? Do you know? I don't know. It must be industrial strength, because, man, it knocks me out like an elephant. <laughs> it takes it right down? Oh, my God. You know, if you crush it and snort it, it's a oh, real... Have God. you done that? <laughs> no, but oh. I've heard. <laughs> uh, admit, no, no, I haven't done that. No, no, really, have you? <laughs> Swear to God, no. No, that sounds crazy. But I've heard that people uh, have. Yeah, so, I, and, I, and, I, and it's like, you would think that I'm a heroin addict, because I went third night in a row. I, I wanted to break myself of this, but you know, I can't. I just said screw it. It's helped me out in a pressured time. But I mean, it's not a sedative, right? I don't know what it is. You know, this is what somebody described it to me once. It's not a sedative. They said that, dude, it's it gotta be. Still they, can be have it for. No, this is what they say. They yeah. say that this is how it was described to me by a doctor. It, you know, that uh, when you try to go to sleep and you can't because you keep thinking about, it's sort of you have anxiety. Mm. It turns off that mechanism in your brain. It's an anxiety relief pill. Hey, where's my computer? Where's I can't see a thing. I don't have any uh, phones. Nothing. Huh. Who's this? Who's doing the setups in the morning? Same people who have always done it. Who? Scott. Who's, Scott's supposed to do it? Oh, we got overwhelmed. I needed him to, to give me something. Oh. <laughs> uh, let me get to Don. Hey, Don, what's up? Howard. Hey, bro. Two words for you. Effing genius. Thank you. I listened all night. I drive all night. Unbelievable. The big black and the angry black argument. It's, it's just amazing. Yeah, they, by the way, those two guys... They're going to do a show together. Uh, right? It's a done deal. I mean, I'm putting them on. If, they, if they're half as good as what they did on the news, I mean, it was unbelievable. And i got to say... What, the Jackie one is ready. That's, is it, it's, all right, you ready? It's, all right, it's yeah, brilliant. It's fast right. your seatbelt. Well, you've heard this already because you have it, but the, the, for the rest of the audience... It does. My head almost exploded when I heard it. Exclusive. All right, yeah, wait. What is that, in CD one or two? One. One, okay. Hold on. This is Howard 100 News. Howard 100. Howard 100. But I didn't want to quit because I loved my job. The only thing I didn't like was the hours. I loved the people. I liked being on the show, the infamy. Our top story tonight, Jackie the Joke Man Martling speaks out for the first time in his rift with Howard Stern. Jackie had been a regular on Stern's show, but they parted ways about four years. How much do you love this? I love it. Okay. I love it. You play your cards right, I might need to join the news team. No, I don't want to join the news team. This is too funny. Years ago, after a squabble over money, Howard often speaks about Jackie's departure. In fact, he even discussed him on today's show after Jackie appeared on the serious radio Raw, Raw Dog Comedy Channel. Until now, however, Jackie's been mum on the split. The silence came to an end recently when Jackie the Joke Man discarded his gag and gave Howard 100 News' Bubba the Love Sponge a worldwide exclusive. Finally, we get to know his side of the split with Stern. Howard 100, world exclusive. <laughs> I was exhausted. Right. Fifteen years of getting up. The, the, I cannot go to bed early. Right. Everybody else is very disciplined. I'm not. Right. And after 15 years, I realized there was no way I was going to get together to get any sleep. But I didn't want to quit because I loved my job. The only thing I didn't like was the hours. I loved the people. I liked being on the show. The I'm sitting and listening to you. 
These bastards out scoop me. I can't get Jackie on the show. All right, we have never gotten this interview. In for me, the money, everything right. about it was fantastic. But I was a millionaire walking around by Wednesday. I was angry, you yes. know, because I was so tired. And uh, so I said how much money I wanted, and they thought it was too much, and that was it. I, I wish there was more intrigue to the story, but that's the, the end of it. Are you and Howard still friendly? As, sure, as far as I know. I mean, we don't hang out. Um, the one thing that took a while to get out over the radio was after two months I felt really bad because they always teased me because I called us the Beatles of radio you know because I felt like I was Yoko like I was breaking up the Beatles so after two months I had my lawyer call and say listen if the last offer is still on the table we'll take it because you know Jackie feels right. terrible about now you see you're yelling at the radio <laughs> this, this, what? first of all he couldn't be Yoko she was not a Beatle I yeah, know he's all over the place with his analogies <laughs> He, he he wanted more money, but he's not into money. Then he says... No, he's tired, but, but money would get him up. Right. But you see, for me, getting up... Sure, you want to be paid, but I've done this for no money, too, and so has he. But then he says he was willing to take the money and come back... Even though he but, would have been angry by Wednesday. Right. Again. But yeah, was, it doesn't make sense. He was willing to take the money and come back because he felt be bad about breaking up the group. Right. Not because oh, he wanted the money. Well, right. Why not take a lesser offer or just come in for free since the money is the issue uh, if you don't want to break yeah, up the Beatles, that. Yoko? Yeah, Dave, what's up? Hey, good morning, Pinocchio. How are you? Oh, come on. Are you back to that? Wow. No. <laughs> It's a new year. What could I tell you? I got serious and um, All right. uh, 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 and I'm really ready to go. Couple of things. I would love to be a reporter for you. Well, really hey, would love just it. Stand in line. Really. The only thing I would need of if you really would, uh, if you want reporters out there, you know those mics that they have. We like maybe you would have Howard. Oh yes. And by the way, we'll be the they news logos. The news vans and yeah. logos will be. You'll be seeing them all over TV. They're, 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 these are legitimate news guys. Wow. Right? But any question they ask has to be Howard centric. I mean, right. it's got to be like Mayor Bloomberg. Super. How do you feel? How do you feel about Howard Stern uh, endorsing your candidacy? Mm -hmm. You know, no non-Howard questions because who cares about how, uh, anything other than right, our show? That is the news. That's the news. That's the mission. Hey, Tom. Hey, how you doing, Howard? Yeah. Oh man, I've been up all night. I'm here in Washington, and I cannot because I'm waiting to listen to Wendy. Is she on yet? Yeah, she's on right now. I'm listening to her. And what did she do? Like, I, I was, remember the guy yeah. with no teeth yeah. and right. motorcycles. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just give the guy, uh, t get the guy's info and I'll I'll get him. As soon as we have a logo, I'll get it to him. Hey, are you uh, interested in uh, any more Jackie scoop? Because I yeah. saw Jackie yesterday. Oh, you did? Oh, wait, wait. You know what? Here's what I want to do. I want to take a break. Because I have two enormous scoops about Jackie. And uh, have, we, have we finished listening no. to Jackie? No. Wait, wait. Here's what I'm going to do. No, of course not. It's a long... Uh, a long I was going to say, we, we're in the middle well, of it. Robin, we're halfway through part one of All a three-part right. series. Oh, yeah. a three-part series. All right, well... And, well, and you well. haven't heard the second part of Angry Black. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> well, it was going all night, the news. Yeah, I was getting into the Jackie stuff. Yeah, yeah wait, wait. you can't interrupt that. Well, this is why I can't sleep. You see how I'm crazed? <laughs> yeah, and all over the place. Yeah. Man, it's amazing. Oh, Jessica Hahn, how you doing, honey? Howard. Hey, yeah, Jessica Hi, Hahn. Hi, honey. Oh, my God. Hi like there. The... Hi, Robin, honey. Hey, guys, it's like the second coming of Jesus, this the Howard 100. This is going to be incredible, isn't Unbelievable. it? Unbelievable. I've been listening to it all night, too. It's incredible. <laughs> I mean, these guys sound so... I really thought it was like a CNN team. Well, all <laughs> these guys are top news people. I mean, I'm. you know, there's no slouches there. Oh, my God, Howard. They are so professional and so polished. And the Jackie thing, watch out, Robin and, and Artie. When you hear this, you're going to kill yourself. Really? Or do you want to jump out the window? Oh, yeah. It's amazing. I mean, Howard, did you hear when he said, oh, I've been tanning and, and so forth. Remember yeah, he yeah, said yeah, that? yeah, 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 yeah. There's so I... many odd little things. He's, he's just got a rap, he says. Oh, yeah, he's orange at this point. He's not, he's not even a human color. And, and Jessica, and, and, you should, you should um, uh, get interviewed because uh, they're doing this thing with people over the years, what, their remembrance of the first time they met me. Oh, I remember the first time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, um, yeah, I'd love that, Howard. Yeah, uh, Gary, get on that immediately. That's, that's a great <laughs> I also story. Been on there. Remember, I met you in 87. Yes, right. Howard, you have to be so proud, honey. This is really fascinating. It's amazing radio. I love that it's freedom. I love that it's it's so great. Thank I you. Can't take it. Thank you very much. All right, sweetie. All right, Jessica. Take, take care, guys. Bye -bye. See you later. Bye. Jessica Hahn. Hey, I haven't talked to her in a while. 
Yes, Glenn. Hey, now. Got Stevie Wonder stopping by today. Yeah. And James Woods. Yeah. Man, I don't even... I mean, we have so much going on we, today. We got a guest coming up. We got to finish the Jackie tape. And I wanted to... Uh, I want to talk to you about. I saw a photograph of your girlfriend, dude. That is the craziest photograph I've ever seen. Where is that from? I guess uh, FHM has some like. I guess they went like behind the scenes. But when I showed this picture to the guys in the office, they all like came in. Man, let me see. What well, happened to the guys in the studio? Oh yeah, yeah, that's that naked shot. Oh god. What is that? Let me. Don't see show that. that to Double A. That's a great shot, dude. Isn't that's it? your girlfriend. Let me see. I mean, do you look at that sometimes? And oh, I look at that. I, yeah. Wow. I look at that. Well, he was just saying the other day, she's so yeah. beautiful naked, he doesn't really need much I'd say, help. Uh, you know what is the craziest? <laughs> oh I might, if, 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 she might, if she my girlfriend, I might not even make it to that, to, like to get to her. Right. You'd, say, you'd be, uh, I'd be yeah, walking into the room. That's a classy shot, too. <laughs> yes, it's, beautiful. It's, it's artsy, yeah. you know? You know what's the craziest photograph I ever saw, Beth? There's one of her standing next to me. <laughs> and I go, wow, what's she doing with that dude? But I tell you, when I, I showed that to the guys in the office, and every single intern just went in and was like, oh. uh, Yeah, that groan comes out of them. Collective groan. <laughs> Girls of FHM. Yeah, well, there you go. It was like when the I saw you woman was in her prime calling. Yeah. And she said, like, I saw you on the cover of the post jogging in the park with your girlfriend. My God, she looks so embarrassed. Beth's doing the uh, Beth's doing the show with Double A. Half hour, I'm not allowed to be there. I don't want to that happening. Uh, you know, you're crazy letting him in a room with her. Uh, it's Monday. Monday? Monday. Monday night. <laughs> and that's when they're broadcasting the scores thing. Yeah, after that. For those of you who weren't with us before, Stevie Wonder, I was all jazzed up. I described my night last night. Uh, as we wind down our stay here, I... Uh, you know, uh, some of my ideas are starting to pop up on the other channel and things. And, and uh, yet last night was maybe the most exciting night of my life. The uh, Channel 100 News, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, debuted. It's a 17-man news department, 17 man and woman news department that covers everything in our universe, meaning everything our fans are interested in. And uh, they are doing a spectacular job. They're, they're made in broadcast. They've been rehearsing, you say? Well, yeah, they've been putting together the news department and gelling and learning to work together. You know, this is a whole new team. A lot of the people, XWINS and uh, CBS News uh -huh. people, and uh, a lot of lot of uh, very very hardcore journalist people who take it very seriously. But I mean, they cover Jackie the Joke Man Martling and uh, As Double if he's A Gorbachev or something. They, they're, they're covering. They're doing <laughs> Wendy. You know, Wendy the Retard's now. How many, what hour is she in? Uh, second hour of her broadcast over there. They're covering it like it's it's the uh, Kennedy assassination. Right, or Live Aid or something. Yeah. I mean, it's wall-to-wall -wall coverage. Yeah, well, yeah. that's good. I mean, it's important. Yeah. And it debuted last night, and I got all charged up, and again had to take an Ambien to get to sleep because I'm too excited. I was just telling Stevie Wonder about it. He was yeah. asking me about it. I heard you talking to him. I said, ooh, sounds like some business is going on. Well, yeah, actually, yeah. Um, I was talking to Stevie about some stuff, and... Mm. Um, but he's a huge fan of radio. Yeah, that's what I heard him say, that he listens all the time. And when I told him about the news, he was, he was blown out by it. Yeah. And uh, so last night, I, I wasn't going to debut it. And within 20 minutes, this is the beauty of having your own channel. Within 20 minutes, I made the decision to start it. You and know, they went live. You know, uh, you made the decision. We were all on the phone at 543, went live at 6, and I heard they were running around there like uh, broadcast news. Yeah. Just, you know, papers flying, people running because they were on live. Yeah, you got to tell Doug Goodstein to videotape all of this, the, the beginning of the uh, news channel, because... Um, yeah, you want you know, that. Yeah, you know, we, we want that. I hope he's in on that. Yeah, I mean, even he couldn't be ready for what happened last night. <laughs> I mean, I, I was not prepared to put it on, and I right. just decided to put it on. Uh, Tim Sabian said he was ready, and that was it. It was our moon landing last night. But um, Got there early. So, yeah. so you know, you... you that Jackie story this morning, and, and there's three of them, and they're all stellar. What, what freaked me out? Well, what freaked me out is after the news went on, I realized my own news department is scooping me. We haven't been able to get Jackie on here since he quit, and uh, they and they had a full blown interview. I was going to say, I just realized that he hasn't been on this show. Well, yeah. you know, we once offered almost we offered somebody twenty five thousand dollars to get him here, and we couldn't do it. Yeah, uh, Tim, you're on the air. Howard, awesome! You are truly the king of all media. Thank you. And let me tell you why. Because now, first of all, I was impressed by the fact it sounded like CNN. Thank you. But it was the kind of entertainment that and news that people want to listen to. It's so you're a genius, and I'm sure you've heard this. You know it yourself. You've created a new market. You are truly the king now of all media. Thank 
Thank you. No question. And by the way, the news department will be part of the channel from now on. They have complete autonomy. They don't answer to me. That's the craziest thing yeah. you've said this morning. You know, you're yeah. not even there you're yet. You're out of and your it's mind. Awesome I was out of my mind. I got caught up in a meeting and I said, I give you full autonomy. You're out of your mind. Well, that's the only way it's good. This, this is going to blow up in so many Wait, ways. Let me, let it, me it's already something. blown up. I was over there and they're following me around and I go, oh, no, 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 don't cover this. They go, you gave us autonomy. That's and I had right. Shut up. We're the news. If I have a fight with you and we're really pissed off at each other after the show and I shut my door, they're going to follow me and interview yes. me? Yes, they will do whatever uh, they have to do to get a story. Alex. That's the least of it. <laughs> Just wait till you see what they do to your personal life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I hope they don't follow me to scores. <laughs> well, well they, call, they called uh, Beth, and I was calling the reporter saying, can you back off? <laughs> and, and then he goes, well, I thought we're autonomous. I go, I have to get used to that. Really? You have just... I put in a complaint. ...started a nightmare <laughs> for yourself. I started a nightmare. I said, this is a nightmare. This is the most dangerous thing I've ever done. Well, no they... way. Yeah. I'm, si I'm sitting there thinking to myself, well, now on the weekends you'll be running from yourself. Right. Yes, <laughs> that's right. Howard, let me ask you another question with Siri. Oh, it, would, it, would be, it would be like this weekend, Howard Stern torched the Howard 100 <laughs> van. <laughs> Howard, do you realize the ridiculousness of you running away from a guy with a Howard 100 microphone? Right. Well, I'll tell you what, when they started doing the news, my agent, Don Buckwald, was... Uh, oh, they, right. They needed to get an interview with him. He called me up, he goes... Get these guys out of here or I'm going to kill them. <laughs> I said, that's the Howard 100 News. I have no say over it. They went he goes, to me. You you, then they called Gary. They were like, he won't return our calls. And I'm like, well, I know. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> See, you're, you're doing something very, very dangerous. This is a dangerous and I, Howard, I emailed can I ask Ron, you a question? And he emailed me back and said, tell him to leave me alone. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm busy. I'm busy. Funny. <laughs> now, and you have, for years, you have kept the press away from yourself. Yes. And now you've created your own now, to bug you. Now they're working right next door to me. But it, but it is amazing to hear Wendy the retard covered like she was the pope. Uh, I don't mind Wendy. Right. <laughs> you <laughs> mind you. <laughs> no, I mean, I think that they're, like, we're kind of like Fox News. It's slanted in our favor. Well, that's one Somewhat. thing. But you still, what happens on the day that there is a very big story about you that you don't want to deal with? They do it. Okay. Okay. The story is that somebody's running with the rumor that you're, you and Beth are getting married. Now they come down the hall and they want to interview you about it. Maybe it's true. No comment. <laughs> no, 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 all right, I got a better one. So you are getting married, but you're keeping it a secret because right. you don't want a big deal. And they found and out. And they've got it. And they now go they've with got it. helicopters right. buzzing. They go with it. But I'm just saying, think of a nightmare. <laughs> That no. you have created for yourself. I'll step in and change the rules. <laughs> See, other media is smart. They'll just follow the Howard 100 truck. Right. right. Absolutely, Howard. because they're going to be the conduit to everybody else right. getting in. I can't wait till something happens. It is a nightmare. I, Howard, I can't. All right. Cancel it. I can't wait till something happens and you see it on the news and it says, courtesy of Howard 100 News. Like, they're the ones who have the, you know, the only... Well, I, bang, they, baby. When we were doing rehearsal, like, just getting the team together, they called the senator's office and definitely got a definite news scoop. But, um, uh, you know, we weren't on the air with it yet, right. so that was that. But it was... Anyway, so a, a, in an effort to at least get the Jackie interview that we can't get, <laughs> um, this is from Howard 100 News, the maiden voyage. You they, got it anyway. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess we did in a sense, but... Uh, you yourself didn't do it. Is yeah, it but true you know with what? that, Howard, is it true with that that Jackie's coming back? No one said that on the news. I heard the news. No, the implications there, though. No, I, I, can, I can answer that because uh, that, I, that scoop came from a conversation overheard in the hallway that I did not know was um, going to be broadcast on the news. And it made it to the news. I swear. Exactly what, what? you just what? said, Bob. What, what, what do you mean? I was listening to the news last night. I was trying to make heads or tails of it. I go, wait a minute. I think that happened with somebody heard. So I saw Jackie yesterday. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And I asked Jackie about coming to do the show before we leave. Right. Do you want to know what he said? What did he say? Well, because that's when they said, um, uh, nego rumor has it, negotiations are underway to get exactly. Jackie. Exactly. Get Jackie back. But not to get Jackie back for good, to get him back on the show. Right. Appearances. He, uh, he paused. He took in a big breath. He sighed. And he said, I don't know, you know. Oh, and then no. I, Jackie is the king of analogies. Mm. I've always said that. And he goes, you know, I, I mean, there's a part of me that wants to do it, but it would be like walking into Africa naked. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there's Jackie. So he didn't close the door. We no. said we'd talk in a couple of weeks. Well, you want to listen to you want, because we're running out of time. You yeah, want to hear I something? I hear this, <clears throat> I, I I'd love to hear you want right. to start from the beginning? By the way, would anybody have an update on what Wendy's doing right now? No, because I've been following Stevie Wonder around. Oh. But Sal will get that for us. She needs to get a little bit more active. She sounds like she's just...
waking up. Yeah, but that's the beauty of it. I don't want to. You I, don't I, want to poke her. I'm no not, doubt. I'm not poking her. You're supposed to just observe. What is going on? Here's on the latest there? quote from Wendy. I love this. <laughs> this was on the air. Yeah, the person says, can you give us a time when you're going to sing? And Wendy, <laughs> Wendy says, oh, somewhere between 7 and 7.30. And the person says, okay, it's now 7.45. <laughs> Very good. All right, so here it is, so Jackie. She's staying on schedule. Right, so my problem is we put it. We put the news on at six o'clock, and I'm listening to Jackie, and I'm screaming at my radio. Right. I was shocked. I was. I wanted to re do a rebuttal, but I can't. See, that's the perfect example. Once we're over there, I will do a rebuttal. Well, see, that was the thing. If yeah. we had the Jackie interview, we'd be arguing with him. Right. And Which is he why he said these things. But that's why the news department's good. Yeah. You know, it's better they handle. He gets his. Or, he gets his say. Right. He got his say. But I got to admit, when you heard it, sir, were you yelling at the radio too? I was just amazed that he was even the possibility of negotiations, high priority <laughs> negotiations. I believe is what they said. All right, what CD player you got? Well, do you want to start from the beginning or yeah, start from the beginning? Okay, so just uh, re queue up CD one. Now, what if the news gets it wrong? Then they have to retract. Then they have to retract it. Well, I mean, you'd be on the air the next day going, you know, that for cock, the news department. <laughs> oh yeah, they've gotten some stuff wrong. <laughs> believe me, I've called up and, and, and complained. <laughs> All right, let me see. Hmm. Huh. Things jammed already. Hold on. Hold on. How do you just... Ay, 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 the equipment here. <clears throat> For the next guy that takes over, invest in some equipment. Here we go. All right, I'm taking this off the news that aired, you know. This is Howard 100 News. Howard 100. Howard 100. But I didn't want to quit because I loved my job. The only thing I didn't like was the hours. I loved the people. I liked being on the show, the infamy. Our top story tonight, Jackie the Joke Man Martling speaks out for the first time in his rift with Howard Stern. Jackie had been a regular on Stern's show, but they parted ways about four years ago after a squabble over money. Howard often speaks about Jackie's departure. In fact, he even discussed him on today's show after Jackie appeared on the serious radio Raw, Raw Dog Comedy Channel. Until now, however, Jackie's been mum on the split. The silence came to an end recently when Jackie the Joke Man discarded his gag and gave Howard 100 News' Bubba the Love Sponge a worldwide exclusive. Finally, we get to know his side of the split with Stern. Howard 100, world exclusive. I was exhausted. Right. Fifteen years of getting up. The, the, I cannot go to bed early. Right. Everybody else is very disciplined. I'm not. Right. And after fifteen years, I realized there was no way I was going to get together to get any sleep. But I didn't want to quit because I loved my job. The only thing I didn't like was the hours. I loved the people. I liked being on the show, the infamy, the money. Everything right. about it was fantastic. But I was a millionaire walking around by Wednesday. I was angry, you yes. know, because I was so tired. And uh, I knew he was a millionaire. Of course. He's walking around poor mouthing every minute. So I said how much money I wanted, and they thought it was too much, and that was it. I, I wish there was more intrigue to the story, but that's the, the end of it. Are you and Howard still friendly? As, sure. As far as I know, I mean, we don't hang out. Um, the one thing that took a while to get out over the radio was after two months, I felt really bad because they always tease me because I call us the Beatles of radio, you know, because I felt like I was Yoko, like I was breaking up the Beatles. So you see, he was Yoko. How could he be the <laughs> How Beatles stupid. He's, and he's, he's Yoko? He's in the Beatles or he's Yoko. <laughs> He can't be both. All right, calm down there. You're gonna, you see, you're going to get angry at the news like I was. You said, how could I be yelling at the radio last night? I was yelling. So and two months after he got some sleep. Right. He decided to come he, back. He could come back. But he said he didn't want to come back. But then he said he wanted to come back. And he was willing to come back at the money they offered him. Right? Right, yeah. yeah. It the, was about the money. The analogy is... It was all about the money. It wasn't about not getting any sleep. I mean, the analogy is there. I mean, this would never happen because she, she would never do it. But I'm saying, like, if Beth broke up the team, she would be the yoga. Right. Like, right. that's the analogy. Right. He would be Ringo or Paul McCartney or right. whatever he considers himself to be. So after two months, I had my lawyer call and say, listen, if the last offer is still on the table, we'll take it. Because, you know, Jackie feels right. terrible about breaking up the show. And at this time... There was no replacement for me yet. He had just right. rotated a few people in the seat. And it kind of hurt my feelings because Tom Chisano never called back either way to say, yes, we want you. No, we don't want you. They just kind of let it drift off into the sunset. Do you miss the money, Jackie? I don't miss the money yet. You know what Jackie you... Mason says? I never have to work again. Right. Unless I want to buy something. That's another story. Right. <laughs> so I... There's that laugh. 
at this juncture. I mean, you know. I, I still have I still have plenty of money, but you know the thing is, what's plenty of money? You know what I mean? It, well, I mean, it, you're getting old. You can't take it with you. No, I, I, and it wasn't a whole. It makes me sound so hypocritical, and I don't have any answer because I quit because I didn't get the money I wanted. But the thing was, I needed more money to rationalize being that tired. All right. So that's one segment. Right. Can I? Uh, yes. Can I? So can I drop a little bombshell that the uh, Howard Stern News might want to follow up on this morning? Mm-hmm. So I have an update on uh, Jackie's love life. It's pretty shocking. Yeah. I met yesterday uh, Jackie's fiance. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Oh, no. I was like, I did like a... A fiancé? I met Jackie's fiancé. Was she hot? One of the hottest bodies I've ever seen. Tall. Really? Taller than Jackie? Short. Oh, yeah. Short <laughs> shirt. Like rock hard body. Really? Um, How he, old? I couldn't 14. tell. No, I couldn't tell. <laughs> Clearly younger than him. Yeah. But I couldn't tell. Everyone's but, younger than Jackie. <laughs> she could have been early, middle 30s. Maybe wow. middle 30s. Look at him. Uh, what does she do? I don't, I'm not sure. He met her in uh, in Cannes. You know how Jackie's always going to Cannes for yeah. the Cannes Film Festival? Yeah. What he does he go there for? To watch the movies? I guess some of those independent movies he works on, he gets <laughs> yeah. to go. But he met her there. Well, oh me, and, me and him are actually in the same film. It's so funny. We, we both are in a low-budget movie that premiered about two years ago in New York, and I went to the premiere, and Jackie was there uh, right, with, I remember a, that. with a hot chick. Mm. And he got a hot girl with him that night. I couldn't believe it. Wow. 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 Fiance! This is my fiance. I was like, what? <laughs> this is Howard 100 News. Howard 100. Howard 100. But I didn't want to quit because I love my job. The only thing I didn't like was the hours. I love oh, the no, people. No. You play it again. again. you got to take that one out and put in the other one that has all three stories on it. Yeah, i got to hear more of this. <laughs> you, you know, oh. I just don't like that my own news department is... Scooping me. Look, we got to get the fiance in since they got Jackie. Yeah, we get the. Uh... <laughs> we got to get the fiance. See, as great as this is, I'd love to hear you interviewing him. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. This, is about as, this is about as close as we can get. Well, he said it would be like yeah, walking into Africa naked. I don't know how much time you have. Oh, yeah, James Woods is here. Part two is more about how he met you, which right. is interesting, but not right, as interesting. Yeah. Go to part three. That's more about the whole. The whole breakup. Right. Okay. This is Howard 100. More Americans listen to Howard 100 News than any other Howard News source in the nation. Well, mum is no longer the word for Jackie the Joke Man Martling. He's given Howard 100 News an exclusive on why he broke with Stern. I'm George Flowers. And I'm Ralph Howard. Our top story tonight, Jackie the Joke Man gives his side of the split with a Stern story. Jackie Martling has been a regular in Howard Stern show for 15 years, but after a disagreement over money, Martling stopped appearing. Howard has spoken a lot about his breakup with Jackie. He did so, in fact, on this morning's show, talking about an appearance by Jackie on the Sirius Radio Raw Dog Comedy Channel. Finally, Jackie the Joke Man has broken his silence. In a worldwide exclusive with Howard 100 News' Bubba the Love Sponge, Jackie spoke about, among other things, his life on the Stern Show and the things he misses most. Howard 100, world exclusive. At the end of the day, Jackie, if you could come back in some capacity and work for Howard, would you? Um, it, it, that's, it would totally depend on the situation. Why? Like, like two minutes ago, he was saying he would... He wanted to come back. Right. Now uh -oh. it depends on the situation. Now Fred's yelling at the Howard 100 News. Uh, what? It's, 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 when I... I don't know, just hearing this stuff and hearing his side of the story, it just gets you angry. I don't know. It's just the way he left, the bull crap that he's, like, throwing out there. I mean, it's like one minute, it's like he's too tired. One minute, he doesn't get enough money. Then he has enough money. It's like, shut up. Mm. <laughs> like, what? I really don't know. I would I would have to talk to him and, you know, I... We would have to talk. We would have, have to talk. talk to you. Hello, partner. What do have to do? Get him a cup of coffee and some more money? I would need to open his books and see what kind of money he's making here. I want to see how many marbles he has in his bag. I need an independent audit. I'm a billionaire. Yeah. I don't need that. <laughs> Thought about everybody asks this question. You're like, you know, you get sucked back then. I, if, I'm sure if I sat there with them, I know if I walked into the studio and sat down, we would immediately click back to where we were, and it sure. would be great, great fun. And you'd be bro. Was it? Bro, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was a lot of fun toward the end. I don't know if I'm coming in tomorrow. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to come back. Yeah. I'm going to set out for three weeks. I'm going to make everybody sweat. Lots of fun. Are you angry at the Howard 100 News? I mean, is this making you nuts? Yeah. 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 Did you Did you not recall, Tom? By the way, you, off, you offered so him nice his there. job a million times. Right. But and did you not return his call after the two-month time? No, it, that, I, you know, I don't remember. I remember. I remember when I got the phone call that Howard and I talked about it. 
And I remember that early on, right after he left, that he had thrown me under the bus, or, or tried to throw me under the bus, and and I may not have returned the phone call. But how did Jackie throw you under the bus? He uh, he, he said, I forget exactly what he said, but I, there was a phone call that I had with his agent, where I remember telling the agent that I was pissed off because he had they had tried to throw me under the bus. Yeah. Uh, I mean, did, but in the negotiations, was did sleep ever come up? No. It's he never talked about money. sleep. <laughs> and I remember you offered the job to him multiple times, multiple and then times. finally we said, "Listen, I, I, I the offers off the off the table." I, I begged him. I had a meeting with him, forty-eight hours before his final day, in which I begged him to take the offer. I told him that it was guaranteed money, which he had never had before. I told him that there wasn't a nickel more coming because I had talked to everybody. We had and it was a good offer. That Howard was un knew everything, knew every detail of the offer, felt it was a very fair offer. I did. I had been to the mountaintop. You know that uh, I had gotten every nickel for him I could, every consideration. I mean, you want he had never had guaranteed money before, hmm. and now we, now we were guaranteeing his money. Were you ever, because this is a big thing that always comes up with Jackie, were you ever unclear, you said, you said 48 hours before, there was this cutoff day that you told me about. Like you said, Jackie, it's take right, it or leave it. Right, right. He always says to me that it was never clear that there was an end date. No, this was, this was a take it or leave it. You know, you're, you're, you know Tom, answer. you could sell your car and get me more money. <laughs> you drive a car. You have and, a house. You have a house, don't you? <laughs> yeah. I was listening to and the I news. I liked the guy. I was listening to the news kicking the goddamn, <laughs> I, I mean... And not only that, it's like, I, I wanted to interrupt. Right. I mean, not only that, it's like for like the, the last six months, or maybe even a year before that, Howard kept saying to him on the air, Jackie, you know, this is, you know. This is it. Hey, we're not, we're not yeah, nobody's going to put up with it Nobody's going to put up with your crap anymore. And finally, nobody put up with this crap anymore. You even anymore. said to him, I don't think you'll survive another negotiation. Right. This is Tom, probably it for you. you got to admit, my news team is pretty good. <laughs> give, me, give me congrats on that. <laughs> it sounds good. Damn right. It, it does good. sound good. Okay. What they're covering I can't believe they got this exclusive, though. I don't know how they got. I don't know how they got him either. Years and years of people trying to get interviews. <laughs> because I spoke to him yesterday, and I can't get a clear answer if he'll come here. No. I don't know how they did it. I, it's, I mean. They must have paid him. And Bubba, I mean, by the way, Bubba's doing it. Are you interview. buying the news? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't pay him. Bubba got it from him. <laughs> I think he turns 60 minutes down at numbers of times. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, there's another weird thing. In, no. the, in the second part, and, and Scott and I were working on this this morning. In part two, he talks about how you guys met. Mm. And he says something about sending you some albums and how you ended up in his Rolodex and how Nancy invited you to a roast, I think he said, for his 40th birthday party in 1983. Mm -hmm. So, Scott and I what? were like, that makes Jackie... 62 years old. Right. Wow. And then, and, but I went to Jackie's 40th birthday party in 1988. He might have shaved a few years off. Yeah, we, we, the whole age thing was really odd. Did you know him in 83? Uh, I knew him in 83. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Just yeah, barely, yeah. right? Met just, just, just I met him at NBC. I met him there, yeah. Because you started here in 85, and right. I didn't think you'd been with he, me that he, long he used, to do, he used to do NBC every Tuesday. Right. Well, you know what? It was two, well, when he started here, Jackie was doing, I forget if it was two or three days a week. Two, then three. He uh, explains that. L listen, yeah. I got James Woods in the, green, in the green room. Big poker player, by the way. Yes. I... Oh, well, let, I will, you can't let the rest of this play. This is so <laughs> yeah, just the last part. Come on, come on. Yeah, come on. Just, you know, why don't you tune into the Channel 100? I want to hear the no, rest why of this. You, why don't you play the rest of this either tomorrow or should I play it now? Though you want to? Yeah, hear it. You got it. I, I we got to hear, hear the yeah. end of this. All right, I'll play it real. We quick. might have to go back to it, but we're let not going to play it quick though because we right. have to talk about it. And after, all kinds and of money. after a week, I'd be like, because it'd be back to getting up at four o'clock in the morning again. I mean, I, I. Love those people. I think you should still be with them, Jackie. They talk about you a lot. You know? If you could wave a magic wand, and I know we're playing bullshit little games, and, you, and when Howard makes his transformation over back to, over to satellite, and you can even be dirtier and more yourself and not have the constraints of terrestrial radio, would you consider... Now, Jackie, don't get ahead of yourself. No, no, I, well, I want to stop you right there because would you I consider think the constraints were, the, were so much part of the game. There was nothing funnier than match game when we had to dance around as he uses the f word right yeah i'm the dirty words what's funnier than that well watch oh, if I mean, you go up and say if, the, no, if you play a you match were... game and it's like uh my balls and the and the description is my balls right wh where's the you know well i, I don't think it has to be i mean i'm I sure how it is yeah chris rock's had a horrible career having free speech well you know uh, i don't understand how jackie's even saying this since <laughs> you two share a brain yeah he's but his brain is way different than mine <laughs> this out and he, I, and I, he's I, got I a plan i don't think it has to be my 
balls on satellite radio as well, but even <laughs> even in today's environment on the regular radio, my balls are, are, are is not the right answer. Well, <clears throat> that's the, the the rules have changed the since, rules you, since, since right. we've been doing it, which is change. just absurd. And that and so right. hopefully that would bounce back, but you never know. I mean, you know, things change. I, I I would love to tell you that I've been miserable and beating my head against the wall and thinking I made a mistake. But, you know, I lost 30 pounds and I got tan and I got separated and I quit drinking and I'm fooling around with independent movies and I'm making joke chicks? gadgets. How about chicks? I got laid once. I'm still sore. What do you think of this? The whole I'm tan, I'm rich, I'm... Bull crap. He always... I gotta, you know what? I've seen him and I, I, I like the guy, I, uh, but I've seen him a number of times on the street. He always looks happy. He's always friendly. I'm always friendly to him. Yeah. Right. Jackie the Joke Man Martling, an exclusive Howard 100 interview with Bubba the Love Sponge. Right, I mean, that's all I'm going to play for now. <laughs> the ticker tape in the background. You like the classic. Thank that's you. That's classic. Is this is Peter, is as bad as can. He knows he's the best. Is this is Peter, is as bad as can. He knows he's the best.